Welcome, Her Royal Highness Infanta Dorothy Dame de Bourbon, President of Europa Nostra. Benvenuti nella splendida cornice di questo teatro per la cerimonia del compimento dei premi Unione Europea Europa Nostra 2009. ceremony and the Alto Patronato of the President Giorgio Napolitano. Desidero inviare un caloroso saluto al nostro Presidente. I desire to send best regards to their, our President. Notre ceremony sera accompagnée par les sons de l'Orchestre Athlète, Città di Taormina. a Taormina è stato idealmente rinnovato il patto di unità di azione, se così si può dire, tra Europa nostra e Italia nostra. Come è noto, e Smesca Mihailovic lo ha ricordato, fu Italia nostra a ritenere indispensabile la protezione oltre le Alpi della propria iniziativa, solidale con tutti i paesi d'Europa, perché non può darsi tutela del paesaggio e del patrimonio storico-artistico della nostra Italia se non attraverso il riconoscimento che esso è parte del comune patrimonio culturale europeo. E così è nata Europa Nostra, garanzia di più efficace tutela per il patrimonio culturale di tutti i paesi di Europa. of this year's award laureates. We will start with the category four. This category celebrates the best achievements in the field of education, training, and awareness raising related to cultural heritage. The award winners and this category will be introduced by Mr. Jose Maria Balaster, 
from Spain, member of the Europa Nostra Council and vice chairman of the Heritage Award Jury for Category 1. Our work is essentially one of awareness raising and education in order to ensure that all the young generations of Europe citizens respect and protect Europe's monuments, sites and landscapes. This museum constantly seeks to create dynamic links between the past and the present. Interactive and play-acting opportunities have been developed for tourists and school visitors alike. The jury commends this project as an exemplary centre for educational documentation and information on life in medieval times and the history of vestiges. Prize winner in education, training and awareness raising, the Maison du Patrimoine Médiéval Mosan in bovigne sur meuse in Belgium. These unique landscapes are being sacrificed for short-term financial advantage through real estate development. The Sustainable Aegean program is an all-important awareness-raising campaign. The jury appreciates the pedagogic approach while combining the mobilization of the local population to protect its own heritage. It also creates an alternative dynamic for the regional economy. Prize winner in education, training and awareness raising, the Sustainable Aegean Programme in Athens in Greece. <laughs> Understanding and appreciating one's cultural heritage must start at a young age. This project has been very cost-effective and can easily be replicated across Europe. The jury appreciates this educational project to teach secondary school children about the architectural environment which surrounds them and the history that carved the landscapes in which they live. Prize winner in education, training and awareness raising, Ponte Manco, a proposed teaching method for reading the landscape from Padova in Italy. The mission of this educational and training centre heritage was to provide postgraduate interdisciplinary programmes. It continues to develop even further with a variety of new activities. The jury applauds the exemplary interdisciplinary educational and training activities and the promotion of cultural and environmental values as important European assets. Prize winner in education, training and awareness raising, the Academia Istropolitana Nova in Sveti Jura, Slovakia. This original education model, targeting elementary school children, utilizes cultural values as an intellectual stimulant and raises awareness and sensibility to cultural heritage. This exemplary educational model of community awareness raising, as seen through the eyes of school children, is acclaimed by the jury. The model can be utilized in multi-ethnic societies throughout Europe. Prize winner in education, training and awareness raising, Culture Ants Cultural Awareness Foundation from Istanbul in Turkey. <laughs> 
a project which combined hands-on taster sessions, guided walks, a marked trail, a DVD and several exhibitions to raise awareness and knowledge on dry stone walls. The jury states an exemplary training programme in dry stone walling that can be used as a didactic model for other European areas. Prize winner in education, training and awareness raising, Upper Colne Valley Dry Stone Walling Project, Huddersfield, the United Kingdom. Thank you. And the winner of this Grand Prix is Sustainable Aegean Program, Athens, Greece. Thank you very much. And indeed, the Aegean Islands are a place of unique beauty. Throughout the past decades, they suffer from the division from uh, development and protection of environment and cultural heritage. And uh, today, with all this threat of climate change uh, and the continuous economic crisis, there's no time to lose. There's no other way, other path to follow. But the term, the protection of environment and cultural heritage is the driving force for human development in the Aegean Islands and throughout the world. Thank you very much. ceremony with the announcement of the laureates in the category 3 of the European Union Prize for Cultural Heritage, the Open Oster Awards. This category celebrates dedicated service to conservation by individuals or organizations. This category will be introduced by Alexander Fürth zu sein, Wittgenstein sein, from Germany, Vice President of Europa Nostra and Chairman of the Heritage Award Jury for Category 3. Ladies and gentlemen, I am particularly proud to be able to introduce this category of our awards. This is the category which rewards people who have dedicated extraordinary amounts of their time, energy, and often substantial financial and other resources to their passion of saving, of enhancing, and of highlighting the importance of some particular aspects of Europe's cultural heritage. Sometimes it has been their life work. These are people who, whether they are working independently or within a group, believe in what they do with their whole body, heart and soul. And it is with gratitude for their efforts with which we all at Europa Nostra and at the European Commission celebrate their accomplishments.
This native Californian immediately recognized the potential of the Segovia Mint in Spain, built in 1583, and without hesitation moved to Spain to create cultural awareness for the restoration of this site, currently underway. The jury states he devoted himself over 20 years to the ongoing conversion of an important historic site into an important museum. Prize winner in the category Dedicated Service, Dr. Glenn Murray from Segovia, Spain. This foundation is celebrating a decade of passionate dedication to the restoration of historic and artistic heritage. It has restored over 2,200 movable pieces and 34 buildings. The jury is honoring this regional foundation for the restorations it has carried out since 1999 and the workshops, exhibitions and publications it organized to promote traditional craftsmanship. Prize winner in the category Dedicated Service, the Fundación de la Comunidad Valenciana La Luz de las Imágenes in Valencia, Spain. His knowledge and judgment have been regarded as in a class of their own by all involved in the heritage field. His extensive writing and his initiatives have influenced public attitudes towards conservation for decennia. The jury states, there is no doubt he has had a significant influence on heritage preservation that extends far beyond his country of birth. Prize winner in the category Dedicated Service, Professor David Walker from Edinburgh, the United Kingdom. Well, I'm very happy for that. <laughs> Dr. Glenn Stephen Murray. From Segovia. And first of all, I would like to thank Europa Nostra for having taken special note of my work to bring the famous Segovia Mint back to life from its forgotten and ruinous state of abandonment. But I must insist that the most important thing about all of this is not myself, but the importance of the structure itself built in 1583, which we are proving through detail.